Anissa Armani, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, hello, hello, hello. Are you... What up, London? Make some noise. It's the Max Amini Show. Yeah. All the Iranians, badakhlaq, right now. Woo. Make some noise. It's Max Amini. You know, we had a show yesterday and we really killed it. It was like an awesome show. Really, we did a kundimish. But, so if it's tonight not that good, it's your fault, you know? Because really, as comedians, we always have to go to the stage, you know? Sometimes, sometimes people flip, you know, and they have the all standing ovation shit, and sometimes not. Some people think it's not funny, but then, yeah, we don't care. Because we're making a lot of money back there, but... <laughs> Some of you maybe think I'm uh, like I look like some kind of backstage bitch, but I'm not. I'm actually I'm actually a famous comedian in Germany. Like we have Marco is the backstage bitch right now today. We have, no, isn't he nice? Can I have a round of applause for Marco? He's so cute. He's very good. Yes. Uh huh. What was the problem? Please have a seat. Yes, I'm working here. You know, it's, people paid me to do this joke thing. It's like I started with comedy three years ago and I'm, I'm sorry for my English, like German is my mother language, German and Farsi. From the beginning on I had the support of Max Amini because he's one of the greatest person, not only the greatest comedians I know but also the greatest personalities I know. He's so kind and he's so warm. Like from the first day he, he supported me and you know when I started with my first TV appearance in Germany um, it went very fast for me in Germany. Now I have my own TV show, and I have I play big show. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, do we have? Uh, I forgot. Do we have uh, Germans here? Because people wrote me, hey, we have tickets for London. Where's the German people? Yeah, yeah, here, yeah. Reihe drei. Wo seid ihr her? Aus Heidelberg, wie süß. But Iranians from Heidelberg. How cute is this? And you came for me, yeah? Not like her, but like, yes. <laughs> Not for me. Why do you meld in here? Why do you? Who is here for me? And you just want to mention where you're from. Nobody cares. Oh, you, uh, somebody is somebody here for me. Make like two people. Uh huh. What is your name? G. Louis. And you're from Germany. Here for me. I love you, Louis. Didi Avoy Heidelberg. He is like totally. Thank you, Louis. Because my first set on TV was about my nose job. And I went, yeah, and I went on stage and I talked good. You know, I said, you know, us Iranians, maybe we have a nose job, but we are very proud. We, we talk about our nose job. We say, yes, we have. So why don't you have one? You know, so like, still, Iranians didn't like me in the beginning. Because we are such a, like, we are a great nation and you talking about our nose job. As soon as he took me as an opening act, the same people who were hating on me, they were like, I love this girl. From the beginning, I know she's talented. I was like, what? You were hating, I know your profile pic. You're the same Farzana who wrote you don't like me. It's really hard to do comedy in front of Persians. You know why? Persians, us Persians, me too. We are very, like a very proud nation. We are so, you know, it's hard when we get criticized. We don't like it. We are very, very and comedy is all about making fun of yourself and making fun of your culture or it's, Really, it's not easy. Like, my parents. My mother, she was not doing good. Um, like, a few years ago, we had an, an, an accident. And I was like, okay, mama, why don't you go to therapy? She was like, I don't believe in therapy. I was like, yes, okay, but maybe it will help you. You know, it was a bad happening. Maybe it's good for you. And I'll pay for it. She was like, okay, if you pay, I go. <laughs> then she went to this therapy guy. <laughs> I called me the next day and he was like, um, Miss Amani, uh, we won't uh, have your mama, mother again. Like, I don't want to see her again in my life. And I was like, why? Why? And you know what the story was? Like, my mother went there. She sat on this couch thing. And then the guy was like, hello, Mrs. Amani. So, um, what's your problem? And she was like, I don't have a problem. <laughs> what's your problem? <laughs> And he was like, your daughter called me, and you know, he was a highly recommended 
doctor or something. Your daughter called me. She was, yeah, maybe my daughter has a problem. <laughs> Max was in Germany a year ago. And I was like, Max, business is really going good. I have this TV show. I don't know how to run this whole business. You know, it's, and he recommended me some books. Like, how do you say it in English? It's like self-help books, something in German. Yeah, is it the right word? Motivational self-help, something. Yeah, we call it Selbsthilfebücher in German. So I went to the bookstore. I'm standing at this shelf looking at the books. And I was like, okay, so self-help books. I recognize that all the self-help books are hardly written by Middle Eastern authors or like Iranian artists, never. It's always some Wolfgang, some Thomas, some Michael, some whatever. It's, there's no Ali in there, you know, to write a self-help book. And I was like, why? You know why? Most of the self-help books, they have um, titles who are very ordering, you know? They're like, change your life now. <laughs> yeah, you know, these kind of titles are like, whatever, um, how, double your incomes in 10 days. Or like, find your self-consciousness, whatever, now. And you know, us Persians, we don't like to be ordered around, you know? <laughs> like, yes, if somebody says now, you know, we're like, hala, why now, you know? <laughs> so please, could we maybe first have some chai before, <laughs> and let's go see have some kebab because it's like now let me think about my life a second please it's like now change your life now I was like if I, 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 I plan to write some self-help books this is my new business idea I want to <laughs> I want to write some self-help books for Iranian um, readers or for Middle Eastern readers in general you know if I would write a self-help book I would write it like for Iranians it would sound like change your life Soon, <laughs> inshallah, <laughs> if, if, hello, maybe, if not, doesn't matter, you still got, like, live your life somehow. I get, I'm not a darak, you didn't change, that's not manche, you didn't change your life, am I, how am I supposed to help you? Go to my mother, maybe she can help you. <laughs> then another book was like this, double your income in 10 days. And you know, I recognize us Iranians, we don't even like to, yet, like, to stop suffering. Middle Eastern, we love to suffer. You know, we love to like be in the pain and really suffer and listen to whatever, like uh, Darius the whole day, you know, we love this. I love it too, I was on Darius concert two weeks ago. I love it to be like really suffering. I don't want to, if, if I would a book right for Middle Eastern, I would like, how, if you're drowning or if you're suffering, how to drag your friends with you, you know? Like, make them <laughs> feel as bad as you do, you know? Then you feel better. All of you are suffering. Go to the Darius concert and cry. This is the best thing. And the last book, the last book was something like, yeah, whatever, do this in 10 days or something like that. And I would like, you know, Iranian book would be like, 10 people who do worse than you, you know? <laughs> Why are you suffering? No, no, I I think I'm done. I really, yesterday I did like 30, 40 minutes and today we have to really wrap it up because the show was so great and people, did you like my show? Yeah? <laughs> Please. I'm done. Thank you, London. I'm so proud. You don't know how proud I am. I'm running in Europe like for four weeks telling everybody, no, I'm going international. You, I play London. Everybody asks me, Logan Hall, where the fuck is this? It's like the biggest hall in London. <laughs> It's, I'm international, right? So please like my Facebook site. And if you come after the show, ask me, Anissa Hanum. Anissa, it's not Anissa, it's Anissa. It's N-E-N-Y-S-S-A. Please like my Facebook. Take out your mobiles now. <laughs> like my Instagram. E-N, Azizam, you start. You have your mobile. Louise, you tell her. You, are you, she's beautiful. Maybe this works out, she's Persian. It's the whole situation. And, do you have money? <laughs> yeah, because she's Iranian. She won't go with them. Like, yes. Okay, Lana, thank you so much. I love you. Thank you. For the Nisalese gentlemen.